Hello and welcome to Saint. If you are watching this video, it's because you've just placed an order or you've just received your makeup and you have no idea where to begin. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? When you place an order with Saint, you are going to get this beautiful box. It comes in all different shapes and sizes and you're gonna have some really, really fun things inside. So let's go ahead and just take a peek at what we've ordered. We have ordered our brush, our application brush. We are going to feature the 3D today. We have ordered a compact. Of course, we've ordered our tins and it's gonna come with all this shred paper. So I'm gonna show you how to put all these tins in your compact so that we can get started right away. I'm going to get a little packing slip just to verify what you've ordered. Away with the box, let's have some fun. Got our compact, let's go ahead and fill her up. We've got all of these tins and we're going to place them in our compact. Sometimes I'll repurpose an empty tin for bobby pins. It really just depends on what I'm feeling. So this is my contour color. I'm gonna go ahead and open our compact. You'll see that we've got the Saint logo in here and we've got a little mirror. We're just gonna go ahead and place this in here like so. I am two different highlight shades, so we're gonna have a couple different colors. We've got our other highlight here. We're just gonna set this in the compact. And you guys, I'm kind of anal of how I put my compacts together. So I'm gonna do lightest to darkest. We've got our sandy color. So we're just gonna put that in there. And then we've got our lip and cheek. And of course, where would we be without setting powder? So we're gonna plop that in there. So this is what I'm gonna use today. And what's really amazing about our compacts is they are 100% customizable. So if you wanna put your creams on top and then put your shadows on the bottom or your powder products on the bottom, you can do that. The next thing that you're gonna see is your brush. This is what we're going to apply our makeup with today. And it just comes in this fancy little box and almost like a fishnet lining. So all you have to do is start at the top and kind of force your way around it and then you can just pull it right off. And then this is what the brush looks like. You can get these compacts next to nothing and we're gonna talk about that a little bit later in this video. But for now, I'm gonna take my makeup off and show you guys how it's done. Ding, makeup is off. So now that I've shown you how to add your tins to the compact, I'm gonna show you how to put it on your face. Let's do this. So I'm gonna take that 3D brush and I am two different shades right now. You can see my redness and I just take the brush and I put it into, um, I just kind of put it right on top of the two tins just so that I get both colors. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm just going to swipe the product on and then I go back in and tap it into some of those problematic areas because nobody likes acne. I mean, let's just say it, okay? And I just go right underneath the cheekbone, I swipe the product on, and then go back in and tap into those areas where I might have a little more problem. Following the same structure, I am going to go underneath the eyes and focus on patting underneath the eyelid because I have creasy eyes. Do the same thing on the other side. And you guys, there is no rhyme or reason to this makeup. You can use whatever you want first. I just like to start with my highlight because I like a lot of coverage. I'm gonna move my hair and do my forehead. And I just focus on getting the centerpiece right here because I have contour that's going to go in some other places. So I'm gonna add the same to my nose. And I do like to pat this on versus swipe it on just because my nose is a little bit more oilier as I do tend to have more oilier skin. So this is a little tip for you. If you are just getting this makeup and you're a lot like me and have oily skin, you'll find that pressing the product on is so much more beneficial than swiping it on. So I'm just tapping some of these other places where I have some acne and then I'm gonna switch over to my contour. So this same brush, you guys, I like to just pinch the brush go into my contour and I'm using the shade Olive today, but I go in with that contour and I just kind of tap this into like right underneath that cheekbone. And I do like to press the product on versus swipe just because there again, um, this also helps with coverage if you have any acne spots. So I think you're really gonna like that feature about our contour. And I'm also going to go up through my forehead and I like to swipe this back into the hairline so that everything matches. And I promise you guys everywhere that there are any harsh lines, I'm gonna show you guys a really easy trick on how to take that line away, okay? So I'm just gonna go in on the other side now. And again, following the same suit, I'm going to pat that product just 
I almost go right on the cheekbone just because for me with my face shape, I think that this gives me such a, um, such a more defined look. And then again, we're just going to go in, I'm going to move the hair and we're going to pat it first and then swipe it back into the hairline, just like so. Now, here's a little tip. I really enjoy having a very, very dark contour. I know that contour scared me when I first started to try it, but the more that I used it, the more that I was obsessed with it. So I like to make my forehead look a little bit smaller. And I also really love that lit within look. And so I do tend to add contour a little bit lower. So then as a final little touch, I'm going to show you something else really cool. Um, following that same pinched motion here, I'm going to press this brush into my nose. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing a line into the cartilage. And what's amazing about this, you guys, is you do not have to know how to contour to get this. You literally just press the product onto the nose. And um, I almost like think of it as pressing in just like this. And it's going to naturally create two even lines. And then I'll go under the nose just a little bit. If you want to add just a little bit of highlight to make it pop, you certainly can. And I just add that with my finger. And then I'm going to blend this out in just a second. So I'm going to add just a little bit more. And I'm going to go under the lip because I like a little bit of a pout. Just like so. And I almost like to get a little bit of the contour onto my lip because it blends really pretty with lip and cheek. So now that same end of the brush, you guys, I'm going in with my lip and cheek and I am using Frenchie today. Frenchie is my favorite color in the entire world. And I am going to go right on top of that line that I created with the contour. And I like a lot of lip and cheek, you guys. <laughs> I, I mentioned before that I like a lot of contour as well, but I really love this lip and cheek and I just think it pops so much. But I'm adding this and going all the way back to, essentially all the way back to the hairline, um, because I like to have that lift in my face, and this is my favorite part of the entire process. So you see how easy all of that applied? I'm gonna take this little perfector sponge, you guys, I swear by this product, it is a $14 product on our website, and I am going to blend out any of the lines that we had created with this product. And typically you're going to find that those lines are going to be just right around here. Um, and then of course, where you contoured for your nose and then under your cheekbones. So what I'm doing with this perfector is I'm also taking away any excess product so that my face is left feeling nice and glowy and not super cakey. One of the worst things about putting on makeup is having that cakey feel. I just, I can't do it, you guys. So I'm blending out any of those imperfections going underneath the jawline. And then for my nose, I'm just going to barely tap. Sometimes I'll take the point of the perfector and just kind of dab along those two lines on each side, just so that we don't have as harsh of lines, okay? And now you guys have a perfectly blended face. So one thing that I wanted to touch on before I head out for the day is I really wanted to put a big emphasis on our compact credit. You guys, you can get these compacts next to nothing when you order more tins. So today I have shown you that I've gotten two highlights. I have a lip and cheek, I have a contour, and then I have my setting powder. And you guys, sometimes I do setting powder, sometimes I don't. It just depends on what I what kind of look I'm going for the day. But this is a really easy way to apply your makeup and anybody can do it. So if you found this video helpful or you have some other questions, please get with your sponsor and I hope that you love your new Saint makeup.